This time I'm going to start with pencil because this is kind of complicated. So if I make a mistake, I want to be able to erase it. So once again, I fold it carefully, fold it in half. Flip it over and then fold one of these halves in half. That's what I have there, and then when you open it up, it'll be huge. So I'm glad I started this with pencil because I'm already seeing some change, slight changes I want to make. I'm going to make a pretty evil pumpkin, I think. So once I like this, I'll go over it with Sharpie. might be helpful would be to light very lightly draw in where this line comes and then you know and then you could erase that later and this is kind of weird because there's no teeth there if I can I'm gonna lightly draw some teeth and see if I can turn this into something oh uh, yeah look at that that could be fire So the thing I love about this kind of art is you to you come up with stuff you would have never thought of mm -hmm. from the accidents. So the te these bottoms of the flames will be teeth here. I think that'll work. Oh, but look, that created that problem. That doesn't work. I can't do that. Where is this jack-o'-lantern sitting? Where should it be sitting? Maybe I'll just make a shadow around it, make it dark around it, and the light, light will be coming from inside the mouth. Since I'm gonna be using colored pencil, I should probably do some erasing beforehand. Because once you put colored pencil over it, it's harder to erase. Make 
it look more change in the angle of the eyebrows make it look even more menacing more more monstery Now I'll do some colored pencils. So I'm a little worried about these dark, dark lines. I think I should lighten them up a bit. Make sure that, oh, see, I made a mistake again. This is no good. I'm just thinking, like, could I make this mistake? Could I turn it into something else? I could make it like a maple leaf. So this is going to be my light source, so I have to keep remembering that. It's going to be lighter in here than outside here. So maybe I'll, so I can remember that, I'm going to start to make this, make this yellow. I have like fire in the mouth apparently. Do. I'm just thinking I'm gonna make these this these are the teeth up here I'm gonna make these dark orange to contrast against the light here so maybe I'll make like lines coming up like it's the back of the pumpkin I'm having fun now now that I have my basic structure, now I can have fun. So these triangles here are going to be darker than the flames in front of them. These. It's going to be important because those are the teeth. So maybe I'll do it here. I'm going to make these orange. I keep thinking like these eyes are going to be dark, but these eyes are going to be light. It's around them that's going to be dark. This is all going to be orange. I can start just straight up coloring in. These are going to really pop out from the yellow. So they're going to be much darker. See what's starting to happen? Starting to get that contrast happening. The 
Pumpkins also have those lines that go this way. Kind of forgot about that. And I already need to sharpen my pencil. So you can see where I'm going with this. Maybe I'll put some red. The orange isn't contrasting that much. So the downside of the colored pencil is it takes a long time to build up your tone. side of my pencil tip. This really doesn't match up. I'm gonna wanna match this with this better. to make the background dark. It's pretty cool, I'm not crazy about it. So I'm gonna wanna mute. I'm gonna mute this purple by adding its complementary or opposite color, which is yellow. It's 
So let's let's so theoretically, if I add yellow to this, the background should turn brownish. Let's see if that happens. yellow. Let's see if it looks, let's see if it works. It's kind of working. I'm seeing some brown tones coming out. If you, if I was using paint, it would really work. Colored pencils kind of work. So could cheat and just use straight up brown. I think I might do that. It's definitely muting the purple. This light is going to reflect on the ground in front, so I got to put yellow on the ground. So I'm looking forward to adding marker to this. It's going to make it really pop out, make some bold marker lines. So I think that will be the next part of this video. This complementary, this color blendings work, so I'm going to do some more of this real quick. The key with colored pencils is you can't, you can't press too hard, and if you press too hard, you can't blend it anymore. Normally, often, if the sun's coming from above, my darks would be below, but my, my light source is coming from below, so my darks are above. Closed. It looks kind of awkward right now. So now it'll be more. It's this. 
Yeah, that's going to look a lot better if I can make it look like the mouth comes up like that. Ultra fine sharpie lines to my picture. So I want to be really careful. I have to keep remembering this. It's really important that this image makes sense. Sometimes you get carried away with this one and then it doesn't make sense here. And continuing over here. So see how much that that really pops out, gives it, gives it more of a graphic look already. Here. And I'm going to add some more to my stem. to really remember force myself to remember that the light source this isn't up here the sun the light source is down here so I want to make sure I get this set well you don't have to make you can have spots where there's gaps in the pen lines that can actually sometimes make things look more realistic. Okay. So I think I'll go ahead and do it here too. I'm going to add some lines here. So you can see, just doing that, added, I think, added a lot to the picture already. But I want to put some lines in here for the mouth. I think the mouth here is a little nondescript. So I'm going to go in, add some information. hitting up here, it's going to hit this edge. So this edge should be light, this edge should be darker. So I don't have to do every single line with the pen. I may want to eventually, let's we'll see. That's what we have so far. I think I'm going to do some of these, I'm going to put some lines like this is a lip. So I'm taking my time with building up the darks. So right here, this is a little weird, but I'm going to continue these. So here it makes sense. Here. Not necessarily. So I'm just going to add a little bit more black to these flames, even though flames don't actually have black lines around them. So 
And since I'm bu building up slowly, it gives me the option to stand back and look at what I'm making. Because I can't erase pen. I want to make sure I like what I'm doing with the pen. This looks cool. All right, I want to make these teeth pop out more. So I'm going to really give them that that bold black outline. Decided that'll work. But these teeth, I want to. I'm just going to go ahead and give them a an outline, even though in the real world we don't have black outlines around things. And then I think I'll add some lines up here. I think these leaves in the background need some definition. So I'm going to try to lightly draw in, trace over the lines that I have already. This one too, it's just kind of not very visible, so I'm going to add some lines to it. Kind of gives it a comic book kind of feel with a, the pen. I think I also want to add some more red to the leaves. So I'm creating my own brown by adding yellow to purple. And I think I will also add more purple. So it's not popping out quite enough. I'm gonna go ahead and add brown. The reason I'm doing this is I want my pumpkin to pop out more. I want it to be contrast with the background. I'm tilting the paper so it's easier for me to not go over into the pumpkin. I want to make sure I'm not coloring into the pumpkin. I guess it's popping out some more. It's taking a long time with the colored pencil. See how that looks. See how I'm slowly building up my tone though? 
if I do, if I build my tone slowly and don't press hard, it tends to look richer because all the different colors underneath can show through. It's kind of a cool effect. I'm lightening up the flames. It's making them pop out. The contrast with the background and the mouth. some yellow back, like just super lightly. Some more intense yellow down here. to look the same as the pumpkin. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> 